Uh, the U.S. is preparing new sanctions against Iran in coordination with its allies. Washington is expected to target Tehran's missile and drone program in the wake of Iran's attack on Israel. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says every option is on the table to disrupt what she called Iran's terrorism financing. Israel has been calling for greater sanctions after Iran fired more than 300 drones and missiles against it on Saturday. Well, Hassan Ahmadian is professor of Middle East and North Africa studies at the University of Tehran. He joins us now live from the Iranian capital. Good to have you with us. So, first of all, how much concern is there over the latest sanctions moves by the U.S. and its Western allies? In terms of sanctions, there is less that the United States can offer because everything is sanctioned, specifically when it comes to Iran's missile and drone programs or uh, with regards to uh, the nuclear file, everything is sanctioned. So I suspect there is not much that can concern the Iranians. Uh, and, and basically on the sanctions uh, uh, side, the Iranians are, uh, are not expecting that much to uh, uh, be offered by the United States that can affect their economy or their uh, uh, military and their defensive capabilities. So it's, it's not that much concerning, I, I suspect. So not a lot of concern when it comes to economy and defense. What about the activity, the diplomatic activity that we're seeing the West mobilize right now? We've got British and German officials in Israel. Is that uh, causing concern? Well, that's uh, part of the Iranian rhetoric nowadays, uh, to showcase the West's uh, hypocrisy. These are the same countries that vetoed a, a resolution that condemned the attack on the Iranian consulate, which was a clear violation of international law, the Vienna Convention. But France, Britain, and the United States uh, did veto that resolution. The Iranians now are talking, I mean, uh, uh, publicly, and uh, uh, in, uh, even even the Iranian public is well receiving this message of them being very hypocritical when they deal with Iran and Israel. And I think uh, the, the uh, diplomatic offensive against Iran uh, does not get to places that are uh, less receptive, that have been less receptive of what the West policy, the U.S. policy towards Iran has been, that, namely uh, Eastern uh, powers, rising powers, and the global South. These. Uh, are, are critical of Israel, are critical of uh, what it does in Gaza, what it did against the Iranian consulate. And there's no change there. Even in terms of the public opinion, if you look at what uh, the public is thinking, including in the West, there's no shifts there. Many uh, who believe that uh, Israel is uh, conducting a genocide in uh, Gaza receive the news of Iran's strike against the Israel with, you know, uh, uh, less criticism. Uh, and they, they, they saw that Israel was the, uh, the party that triggered this by attacking Iran's consulate. So if Israel is the provocateur, and it's uh, trying to uh, uh, basically uh, drag right. other countries into a different narrative other than the genocide conducted in Gaza. All right, talking about those rising tensions, what does the fact that we are seeing both Iran and Israel engage in such a widely telegraphing of their next steps tell us about the prospects of this becoming a wider conflict? Well, I think uh, what the Iranians did was primarily targeted at deterrence. Their deterrence was targeted by Israel. Israel was uh, in, on an incremental campaign inching closer to Iran, moving away and moving the attention away from Gaza after the criticism and pressure on it because of the, what it do, does in Gaza uh, was, was going up. It tried to divert attention. Uh, the Iranians, after the hit on the Iranian consulate, the Iranians could not take it anymore. They had to Response. So re-establishing their deterrence by credibilizing their uh, conditional threats vis-a-vis -vis Israel. Now, the Israelis are talking about retaliation. 
This is not perceived as retaliation in Iran. It's perceived as another attack on Iran because the Iranians were the party who retaliated after the Israelis attacked their consulate. As per international law, Iranians basically had the right to do so after the UN Security Council failed to respond to the Israeli attack on the Iranian consulate and after the Iranian suggestion that the stop of the war on Gaza can stop Iranians from retaliating did not uh, was not received well by Israel and the United States the Iranians took the third option that direct striking and retaliating against Israel so any further escalation on the part of the Israelis is not going to be perceived as uh, as as uh, a retaliation it's going to be perceived as an offensive that the Iranians will will be forced to retaliate. And the Supreme National Security Council here, the body that decides on such issues, has issued a statement, which I think is uh, the basic, you know, uh, the gist of what Iran is thinking moving right. forward. Any hit on Iran will, will be well, retaliated against right. directly uh, against Thank Israel. Thank you so much, Hassan Ahmadiyan there. Make sure to subscribe our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.